Holy sh**. Ball. It's regional food day, and this time we're heading to Buffalo for the well-known Stinger Sub. Well-known if you're from Buffalo, or I guess have had it. I've never heard of it before, boys. No. no it comes to us courtesy of, well, Jonathan, I don't know how to say his last name. How would you say this? S-Z-U-C-S. -S. Sucks? S-Z-U-C-S? Zucks. Starts with an S though. Jonathan writes, after saying a bunch of nice things about us, not Max, me and Chance. I would love to see your take on the Buffalo Stinger Sub. Basically a Philly cheesesteak with Buffalo style chicken fingers. They might be having it on that plane right now. Goodness gracious. As I was saying, Jonathan says it's basically a Philly cheesesteak with Buffalo style chicken fingers. Let's see how you and the boys can make this Buffalo staple even better. Well, just let me correct you for a second, Jonathan. It won't be the boys making it better. It'll be Sam making it better. The boys will make it look good. I will make it taste good. Which I suppose it's an even trade, right? Yes. I can't do mine without you. Right. You can't do yours without me. You could, but it would be terrible and boring. So here's the plan. Gonna, uh, we're gonna make some uh, uh, buffalo style chicken fingers uh, in the air fryer because it's quick. And then once they're done, then the Philly part happens literally like that. We begin with a two part dredging station. You know, normally when dredging we- Dredging station? Dredging! Normally when we do this, there's flour, egg, and then some crispy panko breadcrumb type of situation. But in this case, we're not. We're just going flour and we'll season it. We'll give it some salt, pepper, and a little smoked paprika, some garlic powder. And this we'll mix. Even though there's lots of flavor in the rest of the sandwich, you do want to season all parts of the whole thing. So, flour, good, two eggs. What? Chance, please. That was pro. Thank you. Wait, while I'm beating this, could you eat a uh, raw egg? If I had to. I could easily do it. Right now, if you want. <laughs> well, I only have two eggs Why left. Why do you need... not have more eggs? Because uh, I... I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had more. I only... I have one. I need one for the next thing we're making. Get an egg. Get a glass. Chance will do it right now. People do this, you know. You want to see it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> of course we do. And then I'll throw up. So, um, I don't know. why are you so excited to do this? I don't know. I feel Have like... Have you done this before? No, but I, I remember one guy sent us a video of himself doing like a raw egg martini. And I feel like um, we never really reciprocated anything. So... Well, who go. the Cheers. fuck wants to? Mmm. Easy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Stay right here. So, you know we're going to Seoul, of course you do. Yes. Me, Max, me and Chance are going to Seoul to shoot. I think we can find something that's a little more... Exciting and gross than a raw egg tea. You up for it? Challenge accepted. Accepted. Uh, sealed with a nice. Back to our uh, breading. Ew. Now here's our chicken. Tenders. I just thought it would be easy. So we're gonna go like this. We we'll start in the flour because it'll help the wet stick. Into the egg. Make sure it's all coated. Back into the flour. And now with my one dry hand, coat it well. Put it off to the side and repeat with the others. And the last one, there we go, All right? Let's heat up the air fryer and we can cook. We open our preheated air fryer basket. We give it a quick spray. We throw our little tender guys in, give them another quick spray and close it up. 400, we want it for 10 minutes. And at the halfway mark, we're gonna flip them and spray them again. In the meantime, we can start some buffalo sauce and maybe get our veggies going. The sauce is simple. We start with some butter, we'll get that melting. We'll add some Frank's Red Hot, fantastic. And because we like it extra kicky, we'll give it some cayenne, perfect. All right, that will melt. They'll start to do its thing, I'll stir it in a minute. But now, the vegetables I'm using are green pepper and onion. I can give these a quick cook on here, then put them back here, and then when it's time for the beef, everything will go at the same time. So watch how this works. Little oil, the vegetables. And these we just want to start to soften. Of course, as soon as I throw these on, a gardener cranks up a couple doors down. Remember, we season as we go. So whipping out my handy bag of the BFF, Sam the Cooking Guy. Best fucking flavor seasoning. This is what it looks like. A little quick salt, pepper, garlic for this. Max said yesterday, I put that shit on everything. We all do. Now, if we take a look in the little pot, we'll see that it's starting to bubble a bit and we can now mix the butter. See the bubbling? Nice. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm not gonna do it this time because it's not appropriate, but sometimes a little shot of honey is really good in here too. Then you toss that on your chicken. Okay, I'm gonna give these guys one thing and then we'll pull them off. And there'll be one quick shot of Worcestershire. It will also help soften and we'll take these off for now. All right, time to flip the chicken. Looks like that. Get a pair of tongs and flip. Great stuff. Oh yeah, we're getting there. One more quick spray. In we go, finish up the rest of the time. And look at them, they're beautiful. So here's the move. I'm gonna take them out, put them on here. The cheesesteak component cooks really quickly. So I'm just gonna dress these guys with some of the buffalo. Oh. And then a quick flip, we'll repeat. Nice. Hello, everybody. Great, okay. Because we're so close to making this whole thing, I want them to stay warm. I'll put them back in the air fryer, turn it down to about two and a quarter, and just let it go till we're ready for them. But they'll be perfect. Now, we cheese steak. We're starting with, who knows what these are out in the internet land? These are steakums. Remember we used these before? They're like ground pressed steaks that are the best. They cook in seconds. So some oil. Spread them out. Spread them out. Look, they're softening already. See how they go? I mean, honestly, they're... Oh, look it, Philly cheesesteak in about 13 seconds. We hit it with a little bit of our BFF. Nice. And now our vegetables, remember them? Here we go. I'll make it into one. I think I have enough for two. I'll take one off and we'll go like this. Now some provolone. Here's my bun. I'll just give it a little toast right here. Cover that. Beautiful. Why don't you move to the front and we'll build. Look, it's almost there. Come on now. And here's what we do. Holy shit. Balls. Philly cheesesteak in about, what, two minutes? Let's get the chicken on. Wow. And here we are. So we get one of our guys right here. Ah, oh, nice. And we cut them up. A little garlic aioli, just for a little extra flavor down here. And this will now, it's hot. And they'll sit on top. This amazing chicken right there. And that, Madame Messieurs, is your basic buffalo stinger sub. And here we are. Well, look at that. That's a nice looking, I'm gonna cut it. I like this. I like what's going on here. It's not a combination I would have thought of. It's not a combination I would have thought of, but let's try a bite. Perfect bite. You go in, in the corner and you get a beautiful bite of the buffalo chicken, which by the way, 10 minutes, 400 degrees in the air fryer is about as perfect a tender as you could ever want. Moist, juicy, tender, so good. But now you get a bite of that, you get the cheese steak here, that little garlic aioli that I drizzled in the middle. Mm. Mm. Wow, honestly, I wouldn't have thought this would have worked, but guess what? It fucking does. It's delicious. Jonathan sucks. This doesn't. It's great. Thank you for taking the time to reach out. Tell us what you wanted to see us make. And you all can do the same thing. So leave a comment below. Let us know. And while you're down there, you can go hit the uh, store. ShopSDCG.com for all kinds of fun shit. Including the BFF that I use.